In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Wix automations to Notion. Now, it's actually very easy and straightforward to do, but make sure you pay close attention to ensure you get every step correct. So let's get right into the video. The first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead on Wix and sign in, make sure we're on our site. I want to go to the left hand side and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you should see it says automations here. So click on the automations tab and it should open up a window that looks something like this. Now once we're in here, we want to go ahead and go to the top right hand corner and click new automation. From here, it's going to ask us how to set it up. We're going to start from scratch. And here we're going to create a trigger. So we're going to put some information into Notion. So depending on what you need, you can put that in there. But let's say we want to add some Wix bookings into Notion. We can select the trigger, so we could have a session booked, uh, book and cancelled, really whatever you want to do. Let's try session booked because that's probably the most likely case for Notion. Um, it's going to ask you which services trigger this, so if you have different services you can select a specific one. And you can change the frequency. You can also add delays and conditions, so if you've got certain conditions that you need to meet you can do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead to the action section here and we're going to go ahead and click on the connect to Zapier option. I'm going to click activate here and it's going to ask for a title and we're going to call this Notion and we're going to hit save. Once we've gone ahead and done that it's going to ask us to connect to Zapier. We're going to just click activate anyway because we're going to connect this from the Zapier side. And you can see it says your automation is now active. So now that we've gone ahead and done that, we're going to go across onto Zapier and we're going to sign into an account. It's completely free to start off with and then you can pay for different plans as you go along. So I'm going to go ahead to the top left hand corner and click create a zap. And from here, we're going to go and select the trigger. And the trigger that we're going to set is Wix. You can see Wix here. So we're going to go ahead and for the event, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. We're going to go to Wix custom triggers. We're going to click continue. And then here it's going to ask you to sign in with your account. Now I've already signed in with my account, so I don't have to do that. But it's just going to ask you to sign in and verify the connection and allow it to have access to your Wix. It's completely safe. So go ahead and do that. And you come back and it should look like this. We can go ahead here and click continue. Now it's going to ask for the automation rule. So we're going to go and select Notion, which is the rule that we've just created here. And we can go ahead and click continue. Once we've clicked continue, we can click on the test trigger option. And essentially this is going to pull the information from Wix to ensure that it all works up. Now we're going to click continue with selected record. And it's going to open up the action section now. So in the action section, we're going to type in Notion. There we go. And it's going to ask the event type. So when you get a new uh, call booking or whatever in Wix, what do you want it to do? So I'm going to put create database item and I'm going to click continue. Now it's going to go ahead here and ask us to choose an account which we want to select, well, want to do this action with. So I'm going to click choose and it should open up. No. So once you've connected up your account, it's going to ask for the action. So it's going to start with the database. Just click in here and select which database you want the action to be added to. Now I've actually selected the video schedule database, but you know, select one that's appropriate for you. Now in here we can add text or we can insert data. So we click on here and insert data from our Wix. So if you're doing a call booking service, for example, you might want to put name and that could be the name of the, uh, database item. So that'll basically be the name that was signed up. There's tons of different things you could do here. You could do first name, contact name. Um, there's just tons of different ones. So really that's up to you. Next, you can add some tags. So this might be some information about, you know, them. You can do that if you want to. You can assign it. So assigning it will essentially allow you to pick which person on the notion gets to see the item. And then we can add the content here. So we might want to add phone number. We might want to add their address, all that kind of stuff. And we can do that with the same way that we've just done this by dynamically taking, taking the data from Wix. And then lastly, we can do content format and you can either select plain text or something else, but just pick whichever one you want. So now we're going to go ahead and click continue. 
And I've now gone ahead and clicked test step and it's going to go and create this item for me. And if I went onto Notion now, it should be on there for me ready to use. I'm going to click publish here and that's now going to publish our zap. So we're basically done now. It's published, it's turned on and you can just test it to make sure it all works. And if it does, then great. If not, just edit it until you get your desired, um, you know, flow. To turn it off, you can just press this little button up here and yeah, that's all you need to know. So basically that's how you do it. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.